Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with a brand new football product opening. Do have one little skinny hobby box here to check out of 2020 Panini Plates and Patches Football. Now just like the product title, you are going to be finding a patch and a plate here in one hobby box. Each box doesn't guarantee only five cards, so only five cards per box. One of them being an autograph. One of them being a memorabilia card, and also one of them being a printing plate. And I think either you have a second autograph or an insert, and then a base or base parallel for to round off for the five cards. So yeah, just five cards per box here. Plates and patches. I remember actually opening up plates and patches last year on the channel. So crazy how things are coming around. Let's go on ahead and get on into 2020 plates and patches. Bye. Snapping us into the corner. And this should be a very quick opening here. Do have Jared Goff on the front here. Let's go ahead and check it out. Find, oh, okay, two base or parallels per box on average. So I was mistaken about being potentially potentially a second auto here. Two base or parallels. Probably should have just looked at the box, but all right. Look for encore autographs from the top rookies of 2020. And nothing fancy on either of these ends. But all right, here we go. Let's get on into it, see what our five cards will be. We should be getting in some more plates and patches on Friday. UPS was unable to deliver today our shipment of Marvel Ages, the new Cardfight Vanguard Bank Dream, plates and patches, limited football, and I think a couple of other things. Yeah, the Flesh and Blood, Welcome to Wraith as well. Uh, that is most likely all arriving on Friday. It was supposed to arrive today, but we got a message yesterday saying delayed. And yeah, it's still at uh, very close to the Southern Hobby Warehouse. So it has not moved at all over the past day and a half or so. Uh, so we're expecting that to arrive on Friday. But here's the pack here. It is a very... Looks more like a weird yellow color on camera, but in person it is like a nice gold. But here we go. Let's close that up. That's upside down. That doesn't... Maybe maybe that's a good sign. Maybe it's a bad sign. But here we go. One pack, five cards. Look, there's a plate. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love printing plates, but of course they're not as special in a product like this where you're getting one plate per box. But still, I'm very excited to see who it is. But you know what? We're starting off pretty well here. That looks good with the colors. Now, I'm not sure if being numbered out of 75 is like that's just the... It's an orange parallel here or if the card itself is orange. But that is very nice here. 49 out of 75. Joe Burrow, rookie for the Bengals. Very cool. Very cool. I like it. I like it. That is card number 159. And it looks like here, this is our relic card of Cole Komet. Hey, double coverage. Look at that. I like I like the shine. Rookie. Dual relic here. I would say it's a patch, but it's kind of flat. And it looks like just printed on. Uh, 50 of 99 here. Double coverage. I like it. Cole Komet. Rookie. Relic. We have Brandon Ayuk. RPA here. Hey, there's some sort of card here from Leg uh, Legacy Football. I like that set. But we got a nice RPA here. Two of 25. Brandon Ayuk for the 49ers. Look at that. Patch. Like you said here, guys, plates and patches have a plate and a patch here. Two of 25, low-numbered RPA. And then here from Legacy of Football, we opened up a lot of this when it came out. I think that was actually the last football product that we got good numbers on. Uh, it is some sort of rookie black printing plate of Nick Bosa. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's from 2019 Chronicles. That makes more sense for it to be a rookie card. But hey, rookie Legacy Update. Chronicles Nick Bosa. All right, so not actually from Legacy like I thought it was. But that's cool. I like that. Very cool. Nick Bosa. And then in the back, we have 4 of 25. Got two cards numbered out of 25 here in this box. Green Marvin Jones Jr. for the Lions. Only non-technical rookie card here of the box. But let's go ahead and get everything sleeved up. I think we had a very successful box here. Nice orange, potentially, Joe Burrow here, numbered to 75. Double coverage, rookie. Nice shiny Cole Comet there, numbered out of 99. We had the RPA, Brandon Ayuk, numbered out of 25. And then in the back, we also had another parallel number to 25. So I think we did well. And of course, the rookie printing plate of Nick Bosa. So I'm just, like I said, going to get these all sleeved up, top loaded, and then we'll look through all these cards once more. That could fit in a regular sleeve, but sometimes with thicker cards, I'm like, eh. I'll just go ahead and put you, Mr. Burrow, in a thick sleeve. That way nothing happens. Should most likely fit, if I had to guess, in a 75 point. Looks a little tight. Looks like I guess wrong. I'm going to go in a 100 point here for the base. You look like a 130. Mr. Komet. Yep, 130 on the Komet. 130, I think, as well on the Ayuk RPA. Going to be a 35 point on the plate. 
And I'm assuming you will also be in 100 points. So that burrow could fit like this. I uh, just didn't feel like trying to squeeze them into a regular sleeve right at this moment. That is a really nice card. Want to keep it as nice as possible. So again, we did get that Joe Burrow here right in the front. 49 to 75 for the Bengals. Haven't been keeping up with his recovery. Hopefully he's doing all right. Haven't heard much. Uh, double coverage, dual relic here, Cole Komet, numbered out of 99. Very nice and shiny. I am liking the design on these cards. Very, very much so this year. We have for the 49ers, Brandon Ayuk, 2 of 25, RPA, two colors. Actual patch, not like this one where it's like, yeah, is that, is that a patch? It looks, looks like it is, but it actually is just printed on. Let me know in the comments if that counts as a patch. I feel like sometimes these things still confuse me. When I list it on eBay, I'll say patch, but is it like actually a patch? Let me know. Had that green here, Marvin Jones Jr. for the Lions, 4 of 25. And that legacy rookie update from Chronicles 2019 football of Nick Bosa, card number 220. That is very cool here. Very nice box, I think. I think we did well. So let me know your thoughts on this box, this product in general, in the comment section down below. I love hearing your guys' thoughts. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, which I really hope you did, don't forget to go on ahead and hit that like button before you get on out of here. And if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That will do it here for this video. Before I get on out of here, though, I do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you guys, for going above and beyond with your support of the channel. We really, truly do appreciate it. Do have five Black Label fans, Andon, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. And of course, we also do have seven Gem Mint fans as well. Anthony Basileo, Devon, Dusty Archuleta, Geriatric Geek, Jake Rhino C, Joe Hal, and Michael C. Thank you so much, you guys, like I said, for your above and beyond support. And all channel members do have their names shown on screen at the end of the video. But that'll do it for me here today on football. Not the world's longest opening, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Up next, we do have our first personal break of the day. We do have a Final Fantasy trading card game Opus 3 booster box. And then we have three more videos coming after that of assorted varieties, uh, quantities rather, not varieties, assorted quantities of Topps 2021 Star Wars Signature Series. And that'll do it for me here today. Lots of new products coming on Friday. Like I said, should be getting in some more plates and patches. Finally, those limited football boxes are showing up. Should probably be opening up one of those as well. Upper Deck Marvel Ages, the new Card Fight Vanguard Bang Dream, some older Flesh and Blood booster boxes, and I still think, ah, yes, Clear Cut Hockey is the other one I was forgetting, which that should be pretty exciting. That is it for me here on this video. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!